Part of Plasma Channel's mission is to one day replicate and manipulate lightning. The sheer power of a single lightning strike can unleash two to three months worth of energy for the average American household. It does so in less than half a second. Welcome back to Plasma Channel and welcome to Plasma Nation. We want to produce full-scale lightning. Well, believe it or not, it's not entirely impossible, it's just highly impractical. But sometimes we need to go the small route. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to take an arc lighter, hijack the circuitry inside of it, apply a method that I recently ran across and produce some of the largest DC sparks using the lowest power levels I've ever seen. All right, Plasma Nation, we're going to produce miniature lightning. And unlike a lot of methods which require some pretty serious build skill, like building a Tesla coil or producing a voltage multiplier, yeah, this method requires virtually no build skill and produces almost 100 kilovolts from less than a single watt of power. Let's get straight to the build and I'll put links to all the supplies in the video description down below. Find yourself a high frequency diode rated for about 5 to 10 kilovolts. You'll also need a capacitor rated for the same voltage and about 10 nanofarads in size. You'll need an arc lighter, single arc or dual arc will do and multiple brands is fine. Most importantly, you'll need a line output transformer, otherwise known as a flyback, and a container full of oil that you can submerge that transformer in. That oil is crucial because it prevents this transformer from obliterating itself. This project is intended for those familiar with high voltage safety. So when operating, keep one hand in your pocket at all times. First up, grab that wacky looking flyback transformer. They always have several wires coming out of the base and we need to locate two specific ones, which are the input wires. To find those specific two, take a multimeter and test individual combinations of two pins and find the one that results in a 0.5 to one ohm resistance. That's your primary coil. Then to find your high voltage return, attach one lead to the high voltage output and then find the one pin that has the highest resistance. That's your high voltage secondary circuit. Once you've identified those three pins, attach wires to each one of them and then plop the transformer in oil. That's a scientific term. Make sure you spatially separate the two primary wires from the high voltage return. Next up, grab the high voltage capacitor and high voltage diode and solder the two in series like so. If you don't have a capacitor rated for five kilovolts, you can make your own by putting several in series. Next, we need to remove the high voltage power source from the arc lighter. Now, most arc lighters have a screw on the bottom. You can take that out and the entire casing will slide right off. Once it's off, you'll notice how well built these things are. They're actually quite beautiful. And like I said, you can use multiple brands of arc lighters because you know what? They're all built relatively the same. Here's a closer look. They all have lithium ion batteries, drive circuitry, a transformer and high voltage leads. This is the powerhouse of our device. Starting the build, attach your capacitor to one of the input wires of the transformer. Then attach the diode to one of the high voltage wires and the remaining wire from the transformer to the other high voltage wire. Twist the wires together and leave the remaining wire to create a spark gap like so. Lastly, build something to hold the high voltage return wire. Once you've done that, honestly, you're good to make some gnarly arcs. You're looking at five inches. There you have it, how to make massive sparks in just a couple of minutes. And if you look close enough at all the sparks in the dark, you'll notice they're fractal just like lightning. But uh, probably the most miraculous thing about this whole process, it uses a 3.7 volt battery to produce close to 100 kilovolts out. But this is the perfect example and perfect lesson on energy transformation. You might think at first, well, there's more energy coming out, there's a big spark. But actually, even if this system was completely 100% efficient, at best, there's as much energy coming out as what went into it. That's physics for you. Thanks for watching today, and if you enjoyed what you saw, 
please consider supporting Plasma Channel on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.